on everybody in this little video here I thought I'd do a do a quick little ship sort of at sea kind of a kind of a scene so the first thing we're gonna do is wet our paper down this is 11 by 15 Canson XL doesn't have a lot of tooth to it it's it's fairly smooth but it's better paper if you want it to stay a little wetter I mean, if you're using 100% cotton paper, then you're not going to have a problem with that at all. But we want this to stay a little wetter because of some of the things we're going to be doing. We want it to stay a little bit open. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to come in here with, let's get in some raw sienna. And just a little bit here where there's some water going to be. And then we're going to go right into the ultramarine blue. And just create a little bit of a dramatic sky here. Ultramarine, a little Payne's gray or neutral tint. And just get a little down here for where the water is going to be. All right, let's put a little, just a little bit of a hill in here where it's going to be a little bit of a hill in the back here. And there's our, our background for our scene. And we're just going to get it now. We're going to give it a quick dry. All right, that should be good enough. Let's go ahead and go to, I'm going to go to the smaller hake for our boat. Um, so we're going to start laying in our basic shape. You can draw this out first if you want to. Um, I'm going to go to the raw sienna. And we're just going to start laying out. This is dry enough yet. Our basic boat shape. So we're putting some raw sienna in here. We're starting with some lighter color. for the hull of our ship. And then a little up here for sort of where the deck is going to be. We may extend this a little bit later. Okay, so there's the basic layout for our boat. Just bring this down a little bit just to get the shape. You play with the shape until it dries. Then we're going to come in with some little darker color. We'll get some ultramarine. Maybe a little burnt sienna. A little neutral tint. And we just want to start getting some darker colors. Something that's kind of a wood color. And we're just going to start and of course here we're going to have the extension part of our boat coming out. There we go. 
Okay. All right, so there is the basic shape. We've got the we've got the darkness in there. We're going to let that dry a little bit. And we'll start doing some of the more sort of detail work. Um, I'm going to take our rigger brush. So number two. We're just going to get it nice and juicy with paint here. And we're going to put in a nice Nice mast here. We're going to put in a nice mast here. What we're going to do is we don't really want that super sharp edged. So we're just going to hit it with a little spray bottle and let that kind of blur out a little bit. We're going to take our, just going to start making our riggings here. Put a little here. Just some detail work. I'm going to give it a quick dry. Now that I've done that, we'll go back into doing just a little bit more of the rigging work. And as you're doing this, you'll see things start to come to life. And you don't want to get real super fussy with this. And just put in a few little details here. Put in a few. Just a few little little details that will sell. That will just sell it as being a real boat. Okay. There's a little ways to go yet. I'm going to go ahead and get some darker colors here. Ultramarine blue, burnt sienna. I'm going to start running the brush a little drier here, getting some of the water off, but... And 
man, we want to keep this open, so we're just going to give it a quick little spray. And then while that's going on, while that's drying, we're going to go into, let's get some blue going and some Payne's gray. And we're just going to start laying in some water here. Quick strokes, leaving some white of the paper going because now it's pretty dry. And so that's going to give it some, some good look there. Give it, make it look more convincing. And then we're going to want to continuously go darker here down in the hull area. And then just below the ship, we're going to want to take some of that same dark color So it looks a little more shadowy down there. Hopefully it looks bright enough. Let me see if I can adjust my light here. We can see a little bit better. Just a few of the details here. Okay, so far so good. Touching up a few little things here. Okay, so it's nice. We got our ship against the light here. Looks pretty good. So the next thing we're going to do is let's give it a little bit of a dry. Okay, next thing we're going to do is we're going to take... That's a different color you might not have, but you you want to have like something like more of like a bright red and just sort of dry brush in. Maybe just a little red along the along the hull here. Yeah, you can even take a little bit of red and put a little couple of dabs for color in a couple of spots. And we'll take this blue here. I forgot what this color blue is, but it's almost like a turquoisey type blue. Get a little bit of that going on there. And last but not least, we're going to start taking some brown. Just to sort of dry brush some things. Just a little dry brushing here and there. Just sort of adds to it. We'll see at the end. Now let's just touch up a little bit of this rigging here. flag it maybe at the back of the boat okay we have a nice little uh, boat against cast against the nice sky back there I'm just gonna take and do just a little bit more with this back here We'll go into this dark one more time. It's 
probably hard to tell there, the shadowing, if you could see with the light. Hopefully you can see it down there. We'll close in on it toward the end. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is we're just going to take a little... We're going to go into a tube of white gouache here. And we're just going to dip our brush tip into the tube. And we're just going to start doing a few little highlights of things. We'll put in just some little round portals, tires, whatever. They look like to the eye, just some detail there. Just some just some quick details. Right. And that's it for our boat scene. I've done better boats in the past, but uh, just to give you an idea of, uh, of how I've done them, if you've seen some of the ones I've posted, um, just a quick, just a quick ship. And, you know, you can see here, like, the riggings and things like that. That's, that's really the thing that sells, sells the whole ship picture. And then, of course, a little shadowing underneath. Let me zoom in a little bit. All right, so here is the finished ship. Just to zoom in a little bit. Now, this rigging here, I mean, ordinarily, I take a little more time with it. And I, I, I put it in a little more carefully, you know, on a video. I'm going a little bit quicker. Uh, here's that shadowing that I told you about underneath here, underneath the boat. So some of these little details are going to ultimately be what really sell it. You know, these verticals here with your masts and things. I mean, without that, you know, it's just those little added details that really bring it to life. And some things with the water. So that's the final sh ship. I've done a couple other ones. This was another one that I did, um, you know, that I did in video. And you can see the, the masts here. I mean, uh, maybe they're not, maybe I'm just being a little hard on it this time around, but there's one. And then here's another one that I did. So just to give you an idea of some of the other ones that I've done and give you an idea of maybe doing something a little different than just a basic landscape and trying out doing maybe a ship. All right, everybody, I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, have a great day. Don't forget to subscribe and leave your comments. I greatly appreciate it. And thank you to all the people that I currently have subscribing. Have a great day, everyone.